So unless you've been living under a, uh, a log somewhere with no internet connection for several months, you probably already know what Overwatch is. So in which case, why are you watching this video? If you don't, Overwatch is a class-based shooter, um, often compared to Team Fortress 2. And uh, that's kind of a fair comparison, I suppose. It's very similar in a lot of respects. Um, you have several game modes. You've got a uh, typical payload, where you've got payload from one part of the map to the other to win. You also have a, a capture point uh, map where you may have to capture one point between, uh, like basically in the middle of the map between uh, both spawn areas and the team that wins then has to carry on, uh, has to win again in another map, so it's kind of a best of three. There's also. Um, uh, a kind of a attack defend capture mode where you have to try and um, capture one point and then once that point's unlocked uh, sorry once that point's captured unlocks another point where you then have to capture that point to win um, and all the characters in it are very kind of similar to some Team Fortress 2 characters uh, which is why a lot of people tend to compare it to Team Fortress 2 or tend to talk about the game in respect to Team Fortress 2 I'm going to realise I'm also doing that a bit now as well, but I am a Team Fortress 2 player. I've played Team Fortress 2 for so many years, I can't even remember now. Um, it's a fun game and I do enjoy playing it. So, anyway, back to Overwatch. <laughs> what this, is actually, this video is actually supposed to be about. Um, so, is it a good game? Yes, it's a very good game. Um, what is it, is it better than... Um, any other game that's come out just recently, such as, hmm, let me think, Battleborn, okay. the other game that people always go on about and always say that Overwatch is better. Not really a fair comparison, I don't think, because um, they are, they, they very much feel like different games, and uh, I really like playing Battleborn, and I do really like playing Overwatch. It's a shame that Battleborn has kind of died off now, but, well, it wasn't marketed particularly well, and Overwatch was marketed a lot better than um, Battleborn was. And um, let's face it, if you're facing off against Blizzard when they're releasing a game, doesn't matter what that game is, you're going to be suffering in sales. And that's kind of killed Battleborn, really. So let's move on from that and, and talk a bit more about Overwatch then. So I've put in probably. Um, oh, I can't see how many hours I've put in now. Well, in excess of like, 20 hours in this game, probably more, um, might even be close to 60, I can't remember exactly. Um, but it's a lot of time, which is which quite unusual. I don't tend to play shooters a lot, but um, I'm really enjoying this, this shooter. Oh and this is a class based shooter. No other way of putting it. And it is um, fun, and the matches are very, very short. The matches can be anywhere between 5 to 15 minutes in length. Um, Depending on how many rounds there are. Rounds themselves are generally very short, they're usually in the way of like three to five minutes in length each round. Again, that depends on um, how <laughs> much time you run down. There was obviously got five minutes to capture the payload and then get the payload moving. You could capture it in overtime, so you've already gone past your five minute allowance and then you'll get another three minutes. You then gotta get the payload to the next next stage. And then when you get that to the age, you'll possibly unlock another three, you will, you will unlock another three, it depends on the map. Um, some maps have multiple um, checkpoints, some have um, considerably less. I think the shortest one I think I've played has got like three checkpoints, I think. Hmm. I can't remember now, I think about it. Um, anyway, it's, um, yeah, the, the matches are short, the matches are quick, and the matches are fun. And you can pick a favourite character. And you can effectively try and main that character so that's that you play all the time and concentrate on and try to be as good as you can. But you'll find that the enemy team will counter your um, your character or will try to counter as best they can. And then of course you can counter their counter, so you can you can change your character freely as much time as you like. Um, this does make for a nice uh, free form match uh, or the way the match. Is evolve um you could end up you could find like there are there have been uh, a few videos of people playing just one character so you have a whole team of like um six junk rats or six um bastions or six torbjorn or something like that and 
that's quite easy to counter because if you if you're playing against it and you know that it, you're playing against champions and you know there's going to be turrets, so you're going to be wanting to go in there with something like a Farrer or um, Junkrat, for example, to take care of those turrets and and get the range on those turrets and kill Torbjorn um, and just disrupt him as much as possible. Um, but then again, the having one sort of one character in the game can also work. It does bug me slightly that you can have all six of the same character. Um, I would like it if you could only pick one character and then somebody else can't pick that same character. Or maybe you just have um, a couple of um, a couple of people can pick the character, maybe it's limited to two or something like that. And, and you can probably do that in custom game mode. I've, Basically, I've avoided the custom game modes because I've just enjoyed diving into random games with a few friends or um, or on my own. Um, and generally speaking, you do get um, the old, oh yeah, you're really, really easy to beat, despite the fact they had to go into overtime to try and beat you, and it was a constant uphill struggle for me. Oh well, yeah, so you do get some of that in there, you know, the, the old um, toxic, um, toxic players and the, the toxic uh, fan base. But you get that in any game. Um, so it's definitely not a negative one. You can select to avoid players, so you don't have to um, be matched up against them again or with them again in a future game. So that's nice to avoid. Um, I've definitely thought about that. Um, again, matching with friends is pretty easy to do once you've got them as your friend and you've got um, got them in uh, your battle net launcher. As soon as you go into the game, you can see whether or not someone's in the game. You can easily just click on them and uh, request to join their party if there's space. If not, they can, um, or if you don't do that, I should say, they, they can just invite you and you'll pop up, which will come, and come up on the screen. You can accept it or uh, reject it. Of course, if you accept it um, and you're in a game, it gives you a short count of time where a Facebook feature out and joins you into your um, friends group uh, pretty quickly and pretty seamlessly, actually, um, which is pretty good. Finding matches, as you'd expect, is, is pretty quick. Um, going into the um, just the random games, it's uh, a, a pretty quick um, to find them. I think as a, as a full group, when we've played as um, all six of us, because uh, there's six on each team, I should say, I haven't uh, mentioned that yet. Well, have I? Yes, I have mentioned actually. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you if you go into full team, it's taken a couple of minutes sometimes to get a group to, to play against. Um, it may be picking up randoms, or it may be looking for other players, um, because the the matchmaker will try to match other players against your skill levels. Which one thing I should point out is it's got nothing at all to do with the level that you see under somebody's name. Um, I saw some guy the other day who was level two hundred and. 12 I think it was and he had 220 hours put into the game and he was playing a game against me and I'm level 32. So either he's really bad at the game or I'm really good at the game or the matchmaking is terrible and so far the matchmaking has been pretty good. Um, you can wait games after you've been in the game to help the matchmaking system work out whether or not the games are being matched correctly. Um, so one or two games I have been in, we have been kind of pasted by the opponent team. Uh, but generally speaking, the game will, or has, because um, it, it can't necessarily always scramble the teams or, or scramble them and move people from one side to the other. But it will um, it will try and match more people into a game. So if someone leaves, for example, join a game, uh, somebody else will, will just come in and, and fill that hole, as it were. Um, and they can just carry on playing. And... If enough people leave, or if um, I think at the end of a match, if the there are uh, if there's if if the game isn't going well, they're not being or if the game is being voted not being matched made properly, I believe it um, effectively ejects everyone from the game and then goes with another another group of uh, players to to put you up against. Um, but yeah, there's also the um, the the hidden metric system um, behind it all, where the game you, you, you can't see it but the game kind of gives you a rating uh, almost like an invisible rating on how good you are and it will try to match players of your level so that's why you know I'm, I'm like level 32 and I'm playing against a level 212 um, you know clearly there's 
there's something going on in the background there to calculate what's going on. Um, I can't remember if I actually won or lost that game. Um, it wasn't a particularly memorable game anyway. I just remember him being that level and that was it. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of it, really. Um, yeah, batch rake is good. Um, I've kind of, I know I'm kind of rambling here, actually. Um, but this is going to be a short video because uh, there's not much I can say about it. Than, you know, it's, it's a good game. It is a fun game. Um, if you didn't like Team Fortress 2, uh, you'd probably like this game. Um, there's got to be a character in there for, for everybody, pretty much. I mean, there's um, turret builders, um, tanks and shields, there's healers, there's shielding healers, um, there's snipers, there's archers, there's um, your generic Soldier 76. It's just a guy with a, uh, an automatic rifle. Um, You've uh, got ultimate abilities, which effectively can be broken down on some characters to uh, wall hacks because they can let you see Raptor through the walls at your opponents online. and see where they are. Um, and in Soldier 76's case, uh, an aimbot where you basically just hold that left mouse button and he will just fire off and hit anything. You don't even have to be aiming vaguely near it, you just have to be on screen and his ultimate has to be in use. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it doesn't matter how bad you are or how good you are at these games, you could probably find a character that's, that you really enjoy playing and it's fun to play, and um, you could just kind of crack on and, and, and play with that character. And you could have some, um, some really good fun. So, yeah, I think it's, I think it's definitely a good game. Um, I'm, I'm surprised at how much it's captured me to, uh, into playing it. It hasn't taken me away from playing Team Fortress 2. Um, I haven't been playing Team Fortress 2 as much recently anyway. Uh, I tend to just kind of hop into it every now and then or spend a few months playing it and some kind of new update or something comes out because, uh, oh man, you've got to get those hats. Um, yeah, that's one thing I've watched is like, yeah, actually hats. It doesn't have any hats. It has skins, it has sprays, it has um, voice packs, or voice packs or voice lines. Um, and you've got player icons, yeah, but no, no, no hats. I'm getting golden guns as well, so, you know, that's, that's kind of good. Um, but that's only for competitive play, which is something else that, uh, that this Overwatch is going to have. It hasn't got at the moment, uh, but it's coming very, very soon. Um, literally, like, in the next um, week or week and a half, something like that. I think it's the planned release date for the, um, for the competitive play. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's a good game. Uh, it's a fun game. Uh, it's even more fun with friends, and um, it has it's got its own uh, built-in voice chat. But um, I tend to like playing with uh, other players and using our own uh, TeamSpeak servers or Discord or anything like that. Um, that makes it more fun because obviously you've got that communication going on. You can tell people where enemies are and where other uh, where are the targets are um so yeah that's it i think really i mean it just it's a good game um i would uh, i think i'd definitely recommend getting it um if you're thinking about getting it definitely get it if you're not sure whether or not you should get it then you probably should still get it because um i know people that don't play these kind of games and they've played it and they absolutely love it and um that's fact one of those is a friend of mine and he's um uh, well, him, it's, well, I've got so many friends that have just basically bought the game and, and who don't normally play this kind of game, and um, that was my ultimate decision in buying the game, because I was thinking about it, and I wasn't sure, and then they've all got it, and then everyone's got it, and basically everybody I know has pretty much got this game and is playing it, um, so yeah, it's it's good, it is a very good game, um, very quick to get matches, it's it's like 10 seconds to get a, to get a match, um, I'm not off solo queue, I don't think I've waited any more than about 15 seconds to get a match. Um, so, uh, yeah, and also, the one thing I did find out the other day as well is you can, um, even if you're in a European or American um, region, you can switch regions in the launcher. The launcher will patch your game. Uh, I think it was a couple hundred uh, mega downloads to patch it into the different region. Once it's done that, um, you can actually just switch backwards and forwards between regions. It takes it um, 
probably 10, 20 seconds or so just to patch the game um, to put you back into whichever region you're picking. So I've now got the freedom of um, playing with Frenzy in America on the American region, or I can play with Frenzy in Europe on the European region. Um, which is pretty smart, so there's a bit of an awful lot of thoughts going into this game here. Um, so yeah, I think um, there's definitely a thumbs up for me, definitely worth getting. Um, if you think about it, you know, get it. Like I said, um, good game. Alright.